Hello, everybody. This is Preston Poulter here with Pocket Jacks Comics. It's time for our Sunday sermon. Today, I want to talk about personal responsibility. And, you know, this is a big one. Out of all the virtues, I think this may be the biggest one, because this is the one that requires you to adopt the other virtues. Let, let me give you an example. Um, the millennial generation, I think, is probably the one that has been taught, unfortunately, to kind of forego personal responsibility in favor of a fair and just system that is headed by experts that pass down rules that just require compliance. And part of that is that there's been a lot of labels, you know, ADHD and all these different genders and various conditions, you know, like all kind of conditions that come out of the woodwork that I'd never even heard of back in the 80s. And each of these labels kind of comes with well, this label applies to me, that means you have to treat me in this special, different way, and essentially it's why they can't conform to society's expectations, and why instead society has to kind of conform to their expectations. And unfortunately, I feel that's a really pernicious habit, because if we look at, say, a more traditional, you know, rough time martial upbringing, it would be, oh, there are bad times ahead, there's war or famine or whatnot, and society therefore needs warriors or farmers or, or whatever it is that's going to meet that. And then each individual, well, what does it mean to be a warrior, for instance? We'll let's go with that. And then, ah, oh, well, you have to be able to be strong and tough and courageous. And that would require the individual to kind of go, well, I've got to make myself to be someone different, to be someone better, more in that image. But when there's really no crisis, it requires, you know, individuals to conform to some shared expectation, and instead society has to kind of cater to you, well, there's not really much of a motivation for personal growth. And it not only creates stagnation in society, it creates a, from a macro scale, you know, a government and society that is rife with corruption, essentially, because right and wrong are now determined by law, and laws can be lawyered, particularly by the more well-moneyed parties, and, you, you know, that's that's where you start to get some the signs of decline. If you just look at the Roman Empire, when they were early in their expansion, well, clearly there were needs. There were, there were barbarians on the frontier, but then as those problems fell away and it became more about, well, how do we get more bread and circuses to the people in the homeland, uh, then, you know, it, it became, when, when it becomes more about a fair and just society that treats everybody ideally, then things start to fall away. It, it, it's simply the way things seem to go. And it's personal responsibility, which is at the center of that. Also, as an individual, I got to say, Personal responsibility is the one thing that really determines long-term whether you're going to be able to make a relationship of any kind, you know, like a professional relationship, a personal relationship, friendship, romantic, whatever. How much personal responsibility is that person willing to take on determines the longevity and, quite frankly, who you should be associating with and who you shouldn't. If you meet somebody and, wow, things have befallen them in the past, but... That wasn't their fault. They got dealt bad cards, or people tricked them, or, you know. I'm, I'm sure by now you've heard plenty of people who just tragedy befell them. SJW smashed their mailbox. Oh, my God! Right? It, it's it, Where is the personal responsibility in these things? Instead, and, and YouTube really uh, probably plays a role in this, is that they get to cry online for pity bucks about how unfair the world is. If they're not taking personal responsibility, for instance, saying, you know what, I have come out and done some very antagonistic things that might have brought some of this on, uh, you know, if it's always other people's fault, particularly the more the stories they relay, the more it, it's never their fault, that's a person you should avoid. Now, I've been looking at uh, what I want to take this week's viewing from, and really, I like The Mandalorian. I've seen now the whole series, uh, 
first season anyway, and I, I think it's excellent. I recommend everybody check that out. And first off, it you know, it personal responsibility and living to a code uh, or a creed and trying to go, okay, how can I fulfill this? And in the case of the Mandalorian, like he he couldn't take off his helmet because that was that was part of the creed. That was what made him part of that unit, part of the the Mandalorian mindset was that he he could not remove his helmet despite the fact at times it seemed it will do well like the more practical thing to do some for the foundlings so he okay, has not only that code but also the, the code of a bounty hunter so he has these two this separate the codes and this he is, is living his life the way in accordance with him at the start of the show he fulfills his job he finds baby yoda who Essentially, he has been contracted to either kill or recover, so he recovers. Ba and over the process of that, uh, you know, he has an adventure, and Baby Yoda ends up saving his life. And still, though, he made a he made a deal. He made a promise. So he delivers Baby Yoda back to his charge. Boom! He has fulfilled the code of the bounty hunter, and he he has also you know in so doing fulfilled his Mandalorian code. Life moves on, except for him, life can't move on because there's something that bothers him. Because he knows that essentially they're going to kill that little baby alien who saved his life. And that's when he decides, you know what, this isn't right. Despite the fact I've been following all the rules, and in his case the rules were pretty rigorous, and the rules did demand for him to you know, persevere and, you know, I'm sure it developed a lot of the warrior training that comes in handy over the course of the series. But he decides for himself that what's going to happen to that little baby alien who saved his life wasn't right. And then he starts taking action against that to prevent an injustice. And in so doing, he gets all these allies. You know, now we have this, this great story. And if you really take a step back, now society becomes more just. And there's this showdown with you know, the, the guy who contracted for Baby Yuna, uh, Werner Herzog. And I, I love that they got Werner Herzog to, to play the role, uh, where he's talking about, you know, like, all of you people rebel against, you know, imperial rule, but by any metric, you know, peace, prosperity, order, you're better off under the empire. And again, it's that same argument of if you just forego personal responsibility and trust in the system, these things will all work out. And so I really feel personal responsibility is at the core of the Mandalorian and how not only following a rigid code, but also looking out, determining for yourself what right and wrong is. And even if it say is transgressing the rules of society to impose what you believe right and wrong is on society is how society improves. And if you instead avoid that, well, now society is going to be in decline. So those are my thoughts on personal responsibility. I really feel that it's at the core. It's probably, yes, I believe it's more important than all the other virtues because the other virtues will not come into being unless you first go what's important and what's important is where you take responsibility and say this is what i'm going to do and this is the path i'm on and you make that outward declaration to people because you want them to hold you accountable it's like i'm doing with my comic book company i say here's what i'm gonna do to do you know price fairly delivered quickly excellent art excellent writing i let you know how i'm to be judged it's it's all personal responsibility and if over the course of doing things like, oh, that printer printed things poorly, and nah, nah, you're now, now you're not taking responsibility for it, your customers learn, I can't trust this person. So at all levels of society, the professional and the personal, as well as just your individual dealings and also societal dealings, personal responsibility lies at the core of it. And if we are to write things in terms of where our society is going, then that has to be at the forefront of it. And I really feel like The Mandalorian did a great job of presenting the need for personal responsibility as essentially the tool for improvement So, and achieving justice. So I recommend you check that out. It's currently on Disney+. Plus. Hopefully it'll be uh, some other places. Um, 
other than that, those are my thoughts on the day. I've got a campaign going on for White Lily Issue 4, 100 Virgin Covers. There's a link for that on Indiegogo down in the description. This has been Press and Pull to a Pocket Jacks Comics. Thank you so much for your time. Happy New Year, everyone.